Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back. Not going anywhere. Beast! <laughs> I'm YouTube famous now. Rock on, gold dust woman. Anyway, it's gonna be Valentine's Day in three days. Have you planned your reservations for your dinner? Have you decided which flowers you're gonna get? My husband doesn't love Valentine's Day, but I do. So anyway, I asked him, I said, would you do a Q&A for me this weekend on, for Valentine's Day? So I posted a picture on Instagram. This is my husband, Alex. If you've never seen him before, he's been in like three or four of my uh, Q&A videos on here. So I asked people if they had questions on Instagram. We got like 89, 90 questions, which was really cool. It was more than we usually get. Oh my God. So anyway, we're going to get right into this and uh, answer all your questions for you. Um, and this is, I was thinking about this, I actually talked about this on my vlog last night. This is our 10th Valentine's Day together. That's crazy, isn't it? This it, is our 7th Valentine's Day married and our 10th Valentine's Day together. It will be our 9th. No, because this is, no, this would have been our... We made in August. I like 10th. 10th sounds better. Okay. Can we just go with 10? No. Ah, oh, Okay. I mean, uh, you wouldn't do that with sobriety. <laughs> that's true. That's true. We don't borrow time. Okay. House of KV, but this will, 10 year will be our anniversary in August. Will be our 10 year anniversary. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. House of KV asks, if you have, if you, okay, people know that we love going to music festivals, especially Alex. If you had your own festival, what five DJs would you book? And who would be your headliner? Love you two. Um, Cascade, Carl Cox. Rufus DeSoul, um, Axwell Negroso, uh, and... Steven Angelo. S Steve Angelo? Steve Angelo. Uh, yeah. I think my, who would be your headliner though? Cascade. Though. Oh yeah. Cascade, we're both like diehard Cascade fans. Mine would probably be Martin uh, Garrix, Steve Angelo, Axwell and Grosso. Did I say Marshmallow already? Mm, no. Marshmallow, Galantis. Yeah, and Cascade would be my headliner. Maybe Zed. Zed might be my headliner too, because I do love Zed. That would be a good. We should, what would we call our music festival? I don't know. Peter's music festival, and Alex got to come along. <laughs> He wouldn't care. He just want backstage passes, media kits, all of it. Okay. Um, let's see. What's the thing you argue about the most? What do we argue about the most? YouTube. That's not true. We really don't ever <laughs> argue about YouTube. That now they're gonna think that's true. You know what? We argue about like kind of like petty stuff, like where are we gonna go to dinner? Like that really is kind of like, and like Alex will work all day long and I don't work as much as him. So then he'll be like, you just decide. Like, I don't wanna have to decide. Like I'm done for it for the day. Like would you, don't you think it's like petty stuff like that that we argue about? I mean, I wouldn't call it petty, but I would call it like small stuff, like more like bickering. I know what we argue about a lot is how we remember things. Like he'll say, that's not what happened. And I'll say, that's exactly what happened or that's what was said and things like that. And the other night I said to him, I said, I'm getting older. I don't remember things the way that I used to remember them. Do you guys like his new hair? His new hairdo? Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Well, do you guys still have date nights? If so, how do you spend them? What's your favorite thing to do? Um, we're supposed to, we don't as, as much as we're supposed to, um, and we spend them probably eating. <laughs> we usually go out to dinner. Yeah, we do do date nights. Alex planned the last one. It's my turn to plan the next one, which is Valentine's Day. So I'm trying to kind of like, I was trying to find a cool place to go to dinner. Alex likes to go to a lot of like new, cool restaurant places. So I was trying to find something that he hadn't been to because he goes to a lot more restaurants than I do. And uh, so he kind of gave me some ideas and I'm trying to plan, you know. Something else <laughs> on top of that. I like romance, but I don't like planning romance. Like, I'm just not a good planner of romance. And he doesn't really care, you know? So, all right. Let's go up here and see some of the other questions. Do you guys want kids? No. Watch one of the other Q&A videos that we've <laughs> No, we don't want kids. <laughs> um, we love kids, but we don't want them. We're great uncles. We love our nephews, but we don't want kids. Okay. Um, I'd like to ask, who takes the longest getting ready? Love you both. And that is by Lori. Who takes the longest getting ready? I don't know. You answer that because I kind of feel like... 
it kind of depends, honestly. Like, um, like today going to brunch, like he didn't take a shower, I took a shower, and I got done in like 15 minutes. We both got done about the same kind of time. If we're like both gonna take, if we're gonna go to something like dressy and do our hair and all that kind of stuff, he definitely takes a lot longer. Cause he does a lot, he spends a lot, yes, yes you do, you spend a lot of time on your hair. No, I don't spend that much time on He thinks, I, okay, so this is kind of a running joke between us. Oh my God, the camera. This is kind of a running joke between us. Um, I said to him one day, I said, well, I'm kind of just a throw on my jeans and t-shirt kind of guy. He's like, you are totally not that person. I was like, yes I am. So anyway, Tucker is over here and he is like knocking our lights around. I don't know. I think we take about the same amount of time. Neither one of us takes a long, long time. Do you think? How yeah. long do you think it takes you to get ready? From, I mean, he takes long showers. He can take a half an hour shower. I can be in the shower forever. Um, he just loves to lay there and listen to music on full blast. And um, But, uh, like, I don't know, like 45 minutes to an hour. To get ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, I never take that long. I never take more than 20 minutes to a half an hour to get ready. But like, if we're just going to eat something, no, it doesn't take us long at all. We're both pretty quick about that kind of stuff. We're really low maintenance. I mean, I, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we're really low maintenance. Um, I mean, honestly, we really are. It's like, it doesn't take us much to get ready. I mean, when you're high, it doesn't take you I long. know, right? <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, show him your sweatshirt. This, this sweater is so cute. I love this sweater. Snoopy. It's got Snoopy on it. It's like one of my favorite things he owns. Okay. Um... Does it feel, I talked about this on my vlog the other day, does it feel different being married than it did when you were just dating? I've been with my boyfriend 10 years since I was 19 and now I feel like if we got married it would jinx it or something. I don't feel like that. I mean, it, it feels like it's like solidified and then like you just can't like just say like, sorry, I'm out. You know, like, like you're stuck together and like not in a bad way. Like it's like, <sighs> like you can't go anywhere. Oh, as much but, as you would want to sometimes. But you know, we talked about this today after we got married. You remember this? We talked about this by the pool. We were laying out the pool. And like, it felt like it felt good the day after that. Like the day after we got married, I mean, it just felt nice, you know? It, it, it just felt complete. Let's just leave it at that. Yeah. Complete. <laughs> it does. So it feels easy. <laughs> you know, like Happy he Valentine's completes Day. me. Happy Valentine's Day. But no, like it was like, okay, like we've come full circle, you know, and I say this in my vlogs a lot. Like, like, relationships are not easy. You know, relationships are tough and they take a lot of work. And, um, and ours has throughout the years, you know? So, to be married and be, I'm very proud of being in a relationship for 10 years on that. So, to answer your question, it does feel a little different. Yes, it feels a lot different, I think. I will tell you what's really weird about this is that Alex had no problem at all when we came back, like calling me his husband right away. And I, and I struggled so hard. I thought like other people would be weird about it or something. I don't know why. And uh, he was just like right away, he'd say my husband this, my fiance that, and he didn't care what people thought. Like he has never cared about that kind of shit whatsoever. And um, like it was interesting because somebody said in here like, I mean, I'm not getting married for the approval of other people, so. Yeah. And I get that now, but I didn't then. And maybe it was the generation I grew up in. But somebody in here asked, what advice would you give to gay youth? I mean, Alex doesn't care what other people think. He really doesn't. Like, if you don't accept us as a couple, he's like, fuck you. You know, like, that's on you, not me, you know? And I've really learned that from him. I want to share this. I want to share this about Alex. Um, this story that I told in my vlog the other day. Because I don't talk a lot about him on this channel other than just, like, shits and giggles jokes. I learned so much from my husband and a lot of times, you know, people look at our relationship and they're like, oh, they're age difference, you know, this is different, whatever. But I've learned so much from my husband and I remember, I just shared this story. Um, his very first birthday that we spent together, Alex booked this cabana at this like, um, what was, what would you call it? Like a pool party like place at a restaurant. And it was like this big, it was like a mini version of rehab in Las Vegas. He invited like 40 plus people and four people came because it was like Father's Day weekend and they couldn't come and stuff. And I got so upset about it. I was like, I cannot believe all of these people didn't show up. And when we left, we were in the car and I said to Alex, I said, I think it was like at the command. I was like, you just kept going and going. Yeah, I was pissed. I was hurt. I was like, I cannot believe these people didn't show up. So I said something to him at the cabana, it was like towards the end of the day, and I said, aren't you so pissed that all these people didn't show up? And he goes, no. He goes, I would rather focus on the four people that decided to be here than the 38 that didn't decide to be here. And I was like, that's really a good way of looking at it. And he always gives me a different perspective of looking at things. Alex never sits in the negative for very long, and it's been really, really healthy for me. And I think in a marriage, that's what it's about, is that you like pull strengths from the other person, don't you think? Like. 
Yeah. I mean, I give you some much, so. Today a long question. <laughs> Answer. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, let's go on. We'll give it, okay. Uh, what's your favorite thing to do together? Um, sleep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Have you two ever been to England? And if so, what did you love the most and hate the most? I have been. He has not been. I've never been. I mean, I feel like England, I mean, it doesn't really, like, pique my interest as much as, like, other places. I'm more of, like, a, like, a tropical kind of, like, Caribbean, not Caribbean, but, like, tropical, like, beachy kind of place. And We're like very beachy. In England's more, like, I need to, like, bundle up and, like, walk around. It's I mean, I would love to go, and I think it will be, like, super fun and cool, but I don't. The thing I liked the least was I was very confused where I was all the time. Like, I had a hard time finding my way. Well, you weren't sober then. I was not sober, and not one, not for one minute I was not sober on the last time. I've been there two or three times. The last time I went, I was not sober one minute. I went with my friend Jenny. And the thing I, I liked the, the best was um, we went over New Year's, too, and I got lost in the streets. That's a story time for another day. But anyway... Um, <laughs> it is. I was so pissed. I was hitting on this bartender in this bar, and I did not know that he was straight. And he finally looked across the bar at me. He goes, I'm straight. And I was like, ah, fuck y'all. And I left. And I'm walking around the streets of London by myself at 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm lucky that I'm here to tell a story. It's not funny. My favorite thing about it was, I always tell people this that live there, and then I get it wrong. It's like the Camden Lock area, I think, where, like, all the punk rock stores are. And it's very cool, like the charity shops are and stuff. I love that area, and especially at the time, because I was really into that kind of music, like the Smiths and the Cure and all that kind of stuff, so. We really want to go to Europe. Alex really wants to go to Spain and Portugal. I do, too. We'd love to go, like, to the south of France. Mm, more like Spain and Italy for me. France is another one that I'm just like, eh. Oh, this will be really interesting. Guess each other's favorite book. The Bible. <laughs> the AA book. <laughs> We don't say those two letters on here. <laughs> Sobriety book. Oh. Okay, but no. What's my favorite fiction book of life? I don't know. My favorite movie that I always watch. Oh, uh, To Kill a Mockingbird. Thank you. Okay. I think your favorite book is either Dry or The Wolf of the Table. Definitely not The Wolf of the Table. So Dry, dry mm -hmm. by Augustine Burroughs. He, he, when I met him, he loved to read memoirs. Not so much anymore. But we're both reading right now. What is it called? The Magical Art of Tidying Up. Uh -huh. Ugh, I hate it. <sighs> He's ready to clean this whole place up and have the whole place just he, spotless. Not anything sitting around. Not even the dogs. Not okay. Not even you. <laughs> You're so mean. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on. Oh, no. Shelby Lou said, Alex, can we please see a tickle match between you and Peter? Love you both. Okay. I am totally ticklish. She is not ticklish at all. We will not be engaging in that tickle match. That's how I like to flirt or like show my affection. Like, right, like I'm like very much like touch, you know? And like, I mean, like with friends, family. He's always everyone. like this. Like, he, like, do the ear thing. And so like, can... it would be like kind of cute. Like, I would like go like this or like just like play with his ear or like stick my finger in his ear or like in his armpit. And like, he <laughs> hates. Okay. That got a little bit off track. So. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Just a little bit. Okay. If you could, Kelsey Beavers asked, if you could throw cold spaghetti at anyone, who would it be? I wouldn't. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. And is that like a, is that like a thing? I don't know. I don't know. Is that, I don't know that. Is that a thing? I mean, it's called like spaghetti marketing and it's like when you just like throw spaghetti at a wall and it's like if like whatever sticks what you try. If you could throw spaghetti, what spaghetti? I'd throw it at, I don't know why, but the first thing out of my head was Andy Cohen. Like, if I was on, like, what, what, what? I would throw something else at him. <laughs> <laughs> we both love Andy Cohen. Okay. What first attracted you to each other when you first, the first time you met? I thought he had a lot of money. <laughs> I'm not joking. I mean, like, that. Ten years later, <laughs> listen, okay? It's not about all that. <laughs> like, like, that's, okay, like, that's not what, like, attracted me to him, but, like, that's what people will say about me, and, like, that's one of the first things that he asked me on the first date. He's like, what, what's the kind of shit that people are going to talk about you? And I, like, laid all on the table, because I have no filter. Um, but I, what attracted him to him, me for, like, to him was just, like, you know, he was, like, what, like, 36, I was 24, and I just found him attractive, you know? Yeah, it was interesting, like, on our first date. Bolts. <laughs> God, I did not want, okay, I didn't want to go on this date. Like, I had canceled with him once or twice. You asked me on the date. I did ask you, but then I canceled. Is that true? I don't remember. Sure. He had a date scheduled the next night, sure okay, did. that he canceled, okay? But, mm -hmm. so anyway, 
um, we ended up going on this day, and I remember, like, it, it was probably the best date I've ever had in my entire life. And the reason why it was so good was not because of what happened after dinner, but because... We got coffee after dinner. Yeah, we did get coffee after dinner. We remember kind of a different ending to that night. I mean, you didn't stick it in. Oh, my lord! Okay, so anyway, so the best thing... <laughs> but we didn't but, get naked. Okay, but the best... Here's the thing, okay? Was that we went into it, and neither one of us was looking for a relationship. So we just had this like really amazing conversation, right? And I remember I said to him, what are some things I'm going to want to know about you that I'm going to hear about you from people on the street? Tell me now. And that was one of the things he said. He said, you're going to hear that I'm a gold digger and I'm not. And I was like, okay. And in fact, it's funny because I can remember like that same weekend. I mean, it was, like our first day was on a Monday and that yeah. Saturday I was in Chicago gold digging. Somebody told, <laughs> he wasn't, he was visiting his brother. I was actually getting mugged. He got mugged, and then I drove to Chicago. Oh, that is such a great story. We should do that story time on here sometime, because that is true love right there, right away. But, you know, it was interesting, because I just told this story on my vlog not too long ago, too. You know, later, like, I uh, was, like, really worried about that, that, like, I had kind of, like, led Alex to believe that I had, like, all this money, and that the debt wasn't a problem for me, and all this kind of stuff, and I said it to one of my good friends, and he goes, well, stop taking him out to dinner, and stop doing all this kind of stuff, and you'll see if he sticks around, right? And so, we kind of stopped going to dinner, and Alex was like, we were going to dinner an awful lot, like, what happened? And I was like, well, I've got some debt I've got to pay off, and stuff like that, and he was like, well, that's cool, we can, like, get coupons, we don't, we can eat at home, we don't have to go out, and I was like, oh, this is a good one, you know, like, I can, yeah, I can be totally honest with him, and Honestly, it's interesting because both of us, I'd say today, have really good money management, I think. Like, we're pretty good with money. But we're really equal. Like, there is not, like, any of that kind of stuff going on. I, I wish I could say I was the rich one and he was gold digging because that would mean that I had a lot of money, but that's not the case. So I know. I know. <laughs> I did say something to him one time about uh, it. What though. was the first thing that attracted me? Uh, oh, uh, attracted uh, you to me? Okay, so he walked, I picked him up at his friend's house and he walked in front of the car and he... No, it was my eyes. Oh, well, I saw him out at a bar and I sent him a message and I said, on MySpace, and I said... Uh, on MySpace, we just aged ourselves. Yes, and I said, I find you very uh, handsome, you have kind eyes, and he said to me, he goes, thank you, I'm not a kind person. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, but that was how we met, and then we talked for like eight months and not because he was still interested in his ex, and then I was doing other stuff because my mom had just passed away, and then we went on our date, and it's been... Almost 10 years. So chaos is what attracted him to me. But what was I going to say? Oh, I picked it. I, yeah, total chaos. I picked it. I picked it. I picked I picked it him up. I picked him up at his friend's house. Um, and God, I keep on hitting this camera. This is the most janky video. I picked him up in fr at his friend's house. And he walked in front of the car. And he did this cute little wave. Can you do it today? He does this little wave. No. He did it in his cute little way, but it was like this. I was like, I am so fucked. Like, seriously, I was like, he is so cute. And then I was the one like, oh, never mind. Ah! <laughs> so anyway. But we didn't do it. We like, did we not the first night. Okay, so anyway. Which I'm a huge believer in, like, doing it on the, like, whenever, whenever <laughs> you're ready to do it, do it. <sighs> it's hot here. Um, but what was the other? Uh, <laughs> is it? <laughs> the other thing I was going to say is that <laughs> I said to him, this is what an asshole he is, okay? Okay. Stop. He said to me, he said something one night, okay, Christmas, first Christmas was really good, okay, let's just say, we, we got each other nice presents for Christmas. So, like, I after that, Christmas every Christmas. Yeah, so I said something to him later about, oh, like, somebody said you're a gold digger, and he said to me, he goes, listen, he goes, if I was digging for gold, he goes, I'd dig a lot deeper. He goes, like, some daddy that would put me up in a condo and buy me a car. <laughs> so, yeah, we got way off the questions on that one, okay. But now you know. Now you know. Uh, if you two were complete strangers and didn't know any of the same people, do you believe you would find your way to each other all over again? No. No, I don't really think we would, actually. And, and you know, it's not because, I mean, like, neither one of us really believes in soulmates. And it didn't really have, it, it was timing, honest to God. It was timing and where we were at the right time, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, I think we're so different today. We compliment, he has this whole attitude about why our relationship works. He's like, we're so different, but we're so the same. Like, I, I don't know. Can you explain it? I mean, like, we're, like, literally the same person. Yeah. We and just he, have, like, different likes. But we're, like, 
different tastes, but like the same way that we approach them. But like, I like music festivals because of Alex. Like that's how I got introduced to it. I don't think I would ever have gone to a music festival if I had dated somebody else and never met Alex. So I think like he would have gone down that whole road, if that makes sense. Like yeah. he would have been very, he probably would be in LA doing digital marketing and going to music festivals every weekend. And I wouldn't, you know, like that wouldn't be my life. So, so LA, <laughs> you got a spot for me. How about it? I'm moving to Florida. That's what we planned on anyway. We're coming to South Florida. People think, I put this video up and I Oh my God, if you guys want to do like a, a meet and greet of me, not Peter, I'll be in South Beach. <laughs> <laughs> we are. We're going to be in South Beach for uh, Ultra Music Festival, so come up and say hi to us. Okay. We'll do a run. We'll have all of my new merch on that I'm selling in my merch shop here soon, so make sure you go get it. Yeah, I'm, I'm that YouTuber now. Okay. Oh, and make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel because nobody does anymore. Okay. What is your favorite thing to do for one another as a random kind of gesture or a daily practice? Oh, we don't. Shop. We don't. We don't do those kind of random kindness things. No, we do. That's like, true. What we kind of things do we do? To eat. We like, you know, we help each other with like the dogs. Yeah. Which is a lot of work when you have three of them. Peter would like to have 17. I would. I know. I would love to have a farm. Um, I mean, we text each other, we send each other dirty pics. <laughs> okay, here's something that's not true. No. I don't, I've never sent him a dirty pic. I mean, like, like, yeah. I've never sent, I like here, for work. the fact, for the fact, and he can claim this in this video, I have never once sent a dirty picture to anybody ever in this story. Not even my husband, and he's asked. Okay. No, here, well, I'll let Alex answer this one since people always love my husband's dirty answers. Moonstone Megan, thank you so much, Moonstone Megan, for this question. Do you guys role play? <laughs> Do you have a full moon? <laughs> Do we role play? We did it once, and Peter played straight. <laughs> no, we did play it one time in the hotel room. We did that role play thing. You, I showed up and you were at the hotel room, remember? No, we never done that. I don't remember. Yeah, I do. Wrong weapon. That is not true. <laughs> no. Yeah, that was you. But that wasn't role playing. I just okay. it on. <laughs> it's like a jock strap and like a, a baseball hat. And tube socks. It was and on. it was actually here. Okay. Do you guys have. Have, do you guys have an all-time favorite restaurant? It, this is going to be lame. That we like together? Yeah, a restaurant that we like together. I mean, Patachu, for pa sure. Cafe Patachu is our brunch, brunch place on Sundays. Um, guess each other's favorite food in the world. His is pizza, hands down. Uh, Venezuelan salad for Peter. <sighs> okay, just can you answer the question real? Please be real. Um, you, McDonald's. I haven't eaten McDonald's in six months. Pizza Hut. I haven't eaten Pizza Hut in like a year. Taco Bell. I do love Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had it that much lately, but I do love it. Okay, if you can- uh, Taco Bell, if you're looking for someone to sponsor. Yeah, to sponsor me, anybody. I don't even care, shoe polish. Okay, if shoe you could polish. describe each other in three words, what would they be? Uh, YouTube oh, no. famous now. <sighs> I love that. Okay, just keep on saying it, keep on saying it. <laughs> See, I'm not really that all the time. Okay, what words would I explain to Alex? Um, okay, so I can't, it's four words, but I'm gonna go and I'm gonna break the rule. When I took him, I used, so we used to be only one car family and I would take him to work and this is the way he would do in the mirror on the way. He could be like, my hair looks so hot. <laughs> He does have such good hair though. It makes me so jealous. I used to always be the person that got all the compliments on the hair. And we're literally at this uh, bingo thing tonight. And this woman comes up and she goes, I love your hair. I was like, what about my damn hair? Okay. To me? Yes. We were saying there, the one that cried that she got the 50-50 and he had to explain to me what that was. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. All these questions. Uh, congrats for staying together for so long and happy, healthy continuation. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I think he's so lucky. Okay. Um, which emoji do you use the most? I'm obsessed with you, said Lily Pankow. You mean like which emoji do we use with each other the most? Okay. Um, I. Which emoji do we use with each other the most? I don't know. You're not a big emoji person, user. Yeah, I'm not. And it's always like the crying one or the blue hearts or the peace sign or... Um, the bird. The bird. 
<laughs> no, I don't ever use that one, hardly ever. I, art. <laughs> I'm like the texter that's like, how are you doing today, question mark? <laughs> it's really good to see you. Alex is like, okay. <laughs> In fact, we got an argument about that. When we first started dating, okay, like I would leave, I would drop him off at work, and then like 20 minutes later, I would text him. I'd be like, "I miss you," and he would be like, "Okay," and I would be so pissed. I did not understand this technological world, okay, and LOL and all that kind of bullshit. Now, LOL, I say that like everything. Like if you text me and I don't really know what to say, I just say LOL, right? So when those receipts get exposed that Peter was laughing at something, no, I just didn't really know what to say. I just said LOL. <laughs> Alex likes that eggplant, though, one. I'll tell you that. He does use that one quite a bit. In the peach. <laughs> In the peach. Do you but I like gifts more. Like, those are fun. Yeah. He is on Instagram all the time watching, like, who is, okay, I was talking about this in my vlog the other night. There's some Spanish-speaking woman that's, like, real high-pitched, and you were watching her videos, and you thought she was hilarious. Who yeah. is it? So it's a guy, and then he's, like, a character, and, like, Manuel something. You just sat there, and I'm like, I'm laughing because he's laughing. He was like laughing his ass so off watching this. Funny, I mean, like so funny. Okay, um, do you guys have a song for each other? No, no. But I was trying to think. Okay, so I said this in the vlog. The song that we got married to, our like walk down the aisle song, was "You and I" by Ingrid Michaelson. Mm -hmm. But what was the song that we ended with? Um, it was like by Capital Cities, but it was like a remix or something. Something stars. Something stars. And somebody said the Coldplay song, and I was like, no, that wasn't what it was. Um, nope, he doesn't like Coldplay. Okay, this is a good question. For Alex, you came to the United States at age 12 from Venezuela, if I'm not mistaken. What advice do you have for people coming to the U.S. and trying to acc acclimate and become proficient in the English language? In the English language or, like, in the culture? No, like, speaking English. Speaking English is watch TV. Um, watch, like the, like, the, you know, like, the show that, like, shows the most like accurate like slang like for example like for me at the time in like 1996 like we watched like friends and i watched the simpsons and i watched um like beverly hills 90210 or whatever stuff like that because then like that just like taught me how to like enunciate and like talk to people and like understand like what people were saying um because it i mean you know you don't nobody teaches you like street language they just teach you like book so did you did you watch it like in captions or did you? No, I just like I just watched it. It's interesting. If you also, like for like if you're like in school, like take Spanish class, even if you're like a Spanish person, or take like a class in your language, and then instead of doing the homework in you know, like if like instead of doing the homework in the language that you're in or whatever, like reverse it. So like if like the if if they're teaching you okay like we're gonna teach you how to like say like the days of the week in Spanish and instead of like writing lunes martes miércoles like you you as a Spanish person will write it in English so like you're learning um, the language but like backwards that's interesting yeah if you listen to his brothers like he and his best friend Sarah are like O M G like okay they like a lot of those catchphrases from the nineties but like and he in his language from today. From <sighs> OMG is not from today. Okay. okay. <laughs> Maybe from Clueless. All right. But anyway, like, he and his brother sound very different. And you can tell, like, just in the way that they say certain things, like, which words, um, like, which, which shows and which things they like. Like, you and Carlos sound very different. Oh, yeah. My brother's a thug. <laughs> so, anyway. Okay. Let's go on to the next question. Oh, we'll end it with this one because I really like this question. Uh, Tay Mama Horton. I like that name. Said, if you could swap a personality trait with each other, what would it be and why? If I could swap, I'll, I'll let him in this. If I could switch a personality, personality trait with Alex, I would pick two. Number one, Alex is almost never negative. He's always positive. He always sees the positive in everything. He really does. And it, it's, his whole family is like this, you know? His brother, like, works two and three jobs and, you know, like, they spend all this money on a vacation, he's like turned around and ready to go on another family vacation. You know, his, they're all of them really hard workers and they just never complain about it. They're just always like, you know, very happy, very excited to work. They're all of them excited. You know, your mom's an engineer and translator. His brother does this and they just love what they do. You know, I would love to be that positive on a daily basis. The other thing is, is that they, he is really, really driven. Like if Alex says, I'm going to do something, he does it. Like he, eye on the prize, a hundred percent. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm sitting here right now, because I was surprised. Okay, now, what's the personality? I was surprised. 
you think that. All right, well, so what would be the personality trait of me that you would have? Of course, one, I'm sure there's 50, but. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I think that like, I think that like, because I believe that like, we're pretty much like the same, you know, and like, but like have like different days that like, it's like, we already have that. But I think that like, I don't know, Peter's very like, emotional, like, not emotional, that's not true. He's more in touch with his feelings than the average folk. So I guess like I would just allow myself to be in touch with them. More like, like, well, I mean, I'm emotional too. I just, you know, it's just different forms of emotion. <laughs> that yeah. I um, we do. That is the one that we express different forms of emotion. Yeah, I would just be more like sensitive. No, well-rounded on like well -rounded. my emotions. So you're saying that you think I'm well-rounded on my emotions. I'll take that. Okay, don't answer. I'll take that. All right. <laughs> Doesn't mean that they're right emotions. <laughs> anyway. Or control them. Well, thank you for doing this video with me. Uh, you're welcome. He doesn't love being in videos, but he is 100% supportive of um, my YouTube channel and all this kind of stuff. And From the other side of the camera. Yeah, and he loves getting the comments from you guys, and you got, you're getting a lot of Snapchats and a lot of messages on Instagram, and it means a lot to him. So I'll list all his social media stuff below if you want to send him messages, okay? And, uh, nice messages and uh <laughs> yeah or if you're rude then expect them to expect, expect it expect one back. i sometimes have to say okay pull don't 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 get messy i see it's not just youtubers i say that to i have to say it to my husband one night i came here i said listen i love you i know you're just protective of me but please okay no messiness he was like okay okay fine it wasn't messy it was it, just it was to that point. <laughs> to that point. So anyway, yeah. So I'll list this stuff below. I hope you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day. I know this video went really long. We'll probably do another Q and A whenever I can drag his ass <laughs> into the camera. <laughs> um, and I love you guys, and uh, we will see you later. Peace out.